you got to understand when the enemy cannot assassinate your assignment with the morality he often assassinates your assignment with insecurity one of the greatest assassins of of a purpose is immorality but another great assassin of purpose is insecurity and it makes you afraid to do what you have been gifted and called and purpose and anointed to do it makes you stay away from places and spaces and people that you need to be involved with and places that you need to be in at times like this it makes you step away into the into darkness because you are afraid that you will not be able to do what you're called to do and until you deal with insecurity you will never have clarity in your purpose in the text that we just read in the life of jeremiah he's a young prophet who god chose you know jeremiah is called one of the major prophets in the bible not because he had a major anointing but because the extent of his words were far more reaching than the others it means that god gave him more to say and more to do than the other people that we talk about god is calling jeremiah to his purpose to his assignment to his will and jeremiah answers are of his insecurity when god is calling you what is answering back i don't have the ability because i can't speak i don't have the experience because i'm too young and a nation is waiting for jeremiah to say yes who's waiting on you for you to say yes to god he's talking to god about his qualifications that he thinks is necessary to fulfill god's purposes how many of us respond to god exactly the same way where we think it's our qualification that will fulfill god's purpose in our life and through our lives and so many of us have stepped back and say no lord not me not because god has called not called you it's because you think you're not good enough to answer that call insecurity but scripture is enough indication that god often chooses the people that the world has rejected amen but many times when we look at scripture we see how how people have been rejected according to the standards of man same thing god has used to fulfill his purpose as we looked at abram we can say abram was old david was a shepherd joseph was a prisoner jacob was a cheater deborah was a woman moses was a murderer and a stutterer peter was a denier thomas was a doubter paul was a persecutor mary magdalene was a prostitute jesus was was a carpenter and jeremiah was too young his insecurity tried to assassinate his assignment if god had to agree with his excuses he would allow insecurity to get in the way and we would not have the book of jeremiah jeremiah is interesting is not just the author of the book of jeremiah but many 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 scholars have attributed that jeremiah is also the author of kings 1 and 2 so much of the bible we would not have today so much of what jeremiah has spoken we would not have today if the lord had said okay jeremiah you deal with your problem and i'll choose someone else jeremiah stepped into his calling not because of his greatness but because of god's goodness You know sometimes we give ourselves too much credit. We think that it's our response. We think that it's our obedience. But if God had not pursued Jeremiah, if God had not stopped calling Jeremiah, if God would have allowed Jeremiah to in his, to be where he was, then Jeremiah would have not been able to fulfill the things that God did through his life.